Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Behind the Group podcast. I am DJ Keel. And I am Basil Barrington, and we are back with another TV series review. Today, we are going to review the Apple TV original series, Dark Matter. Mm -hmm. IMDb gave it a 7.8. That's really low. That's kind of low. That's That's, very low. low, (laughs) That's super low. That's super That's low. This, right this here, is man. yeah. That's this film fire. was so intriguing. I mean, I'm sorry. This uh, TV series was so intriguing. We reviewed the first two episodes, right? Like when it first came mm-hmm. out, and I was like, oh, okay. And then when we decided we were gonna, um, you know, review this, yeah, and, wrap it up, yeah. yeah. At the end. So, dude, I watched uh, six six episodes. Like, just I started watching the third episode, and then I just couldn't stop. And it was like, you know, four o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> and I was like, yeah. wow, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> This joint right yeah. here, man, this was so interesting. You know, we get into these interesting sort of sci-fi thriller mm-hmm. type joints, right? <clears throat> and I was saying this offline to you. I love the I love sci-fi that has to deal with like parallel universes. So this had yeah, a parallel like universe. Of it. Yeah, right, you know? So I mean, completely this this joint completely blew my mind. Just how mm-hmm. they uh, weaved all these different technologies into this, like, uh, TV series. Again, we're talking about, like, um, you know, um, the metaverse, parallel universes, omniverse, yeah, ultraverse. Position. You know what I'm saying? Like, superposition. Exactly. Yeah, all yeah. the crazy stuff. And I'm just sure. like, it's wow. Cat, like, it's, it was a bunch of things. Like, yeah. It's, it's, okay. I, li- I like that they, they talked about the science, but they didn't dwell on it. It's kind of... Um, there, there's, there's certain types of directors that you know they gotta tell you the science and they got, they gotta do this big exposition about the science. They're like, this thing works. Take our word for it. Let's just move on and tell a good story about it. And I, I like that part of it. Yeah, like it's like Christopher Nolan when he does the sciencey movies. Like he's yeah. just like, this thing is the thing. All right, let's move on. Like let's get to the point. Exactly, it works. Trust us. This is. I, uh... I like that. I like the aspect. Sometimes I want to know more, but like in this instance. There's a box. They made a box. It's in all these par- parallel rears and verses, mm-hmm. and that's the end of that. It just works. Can you give a brief overview? Then we're going to get into it because I have a question about that. What you just said. He built a box, and but yes, there's boxes in places that he's not at, and it's just but, in the middle of nowhere. But how did the boxes get there? Well, that's the. I have a bunch of questions about that. Okay, yes. look, basic premise for the show. <clears throat> I think we touched that in the first video is that there's this guy, he's a scientist, he's married, he has a kid, and one day somebody from parallel universe kidnaps him and throws him into a different universe, and this guy takes over his life. And that's the show. Himself. That's basically the show. Himself yeah, from a himself. different parallel universe, exactly. <laughs> himself from a different parallel universe mm-hmm. tries to take over his life. And Asking a good premise about the what ifs, because this guy, the bad, the bad guy, we could call him Jason, Jason Two. They call him Jason yeah. Two. <laughs> yeah, Jason Two went. I, I. This is the thing. I think that Jason Two went to all of these worlds and mucked it up. And there's hundreds of Jasons, and they kind of found him in this this world, and that's why they're there. Dude. I think that's what happened. <clears throat> Dude, I mean, he's been mucking this up, and this is. He finally got to the perfect situation for the to take over Jason's life is okay. in this universe. Okay, see, I'm getting chills right now. So this is how I saw it, right? <laughs> okay. So right. Jason 2, mm-hmm. he was in his universe doing his yes. thing, right? But mm-hmm. he realized that once he built this uh, contraption, he was like, I wonder what I would have been like if I did something totally different, yes. if I went a different path, right? Mm-hmm. So... He was the only one who knew because he built the machine. <clears throat> he was the and only one. He, 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 I mean, he built all this stuff, right? He was the only one that knew that when you open the door, you're going in the universe based on what you were thinking at that specific time. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's the only one that knows how to travel to the to the correct <clears throat> places. <clears throat> right, exactly. So Everybody else is winging it. <clears throat> so yeah. I say that to say that it wasn't Jason 2 who created hundreds of Jasons, it was actually the original Jason because a Jason who came through told him, was like, dude, it's hundreds of us. You know, every time you, every time you go into a universe, you create a Jason. 
And every mm-hmm. time that Jason goes into that universe, they create a Jason, so on and so forth. So check this mm-hmm. out. We just finished se- um, season one. We now yeah. know that there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Jason, and it's just mm-hmm. going to keep multiplying. That yeah. was season and they're, one. And they're in his world right now looking for him. Yes, but they kind of let him Wild. go, too. You know, I was yeah, just well, like, Yo, dude, some of them you know? did. Some yeah. of them were mad about it. So <clears> that's the thing. This, this is, okay, see, season one for me was kind of just like, oh, okay, this is interesting. All right, you know, it's sci-fi. I like sci-fi. This, mm. this is interesting. And then there is a huge shift for me in we were talking about offline is see episode four episode four, episode four when it's five mm-hmm. there's a huge shift for me yeah. and i completely looked at the show completely different and i was like oh this is amazing this show's yeah. great because I, I was like oh, this is interesting this stuff's going on and they, they went to the corridors whatever whatever and then the shift was once you start understanding how this thing works and the why because the jason two was miserable being in this guy's life because right. it's not exactly how he expected, right? And and so when this guy shows up in it was episode six, I think five or six, he actually gets home, and that's the the smoking thing. It, it, here's another thing: they did a really good job uh, separating the Jasons without making it obvious who's who and why. Right? It, it, it was it was pretty clear who's who. Right. And I like that, <laughs> except for the, the, la- the last two episodes. Then it got confusing. When you had the, like, all the other Jasons guy. running around yeah, with like, yeah, you know, little Jason bomber jackets like, on, just like, guy. dude, I mean, you don't even look like Jason. You're dirty. That Go is, take a shower. Yeah, that's a shocking turn of events yeah. in the, the, last, the last two episodes. Because I thought, you know, everybody who's watching the show just thinks it's just these two Jasons by themselves. They, they no. got to deal with it themselves. And it turns into this Oh, massacre of Jason Hill uh, on the on the millionaire's mansion, and then all the other stuff. Like it, it, it got crazy. Yeah, and I really, I really like this show a lot. I like the premise. I like the arguments they're asking, and I, I like that because a lot of shows like the wife is like being annoying and she's nagging. Like instantly when she saw him start talking, like she's just like, I got it. She's like, I'm uncomfortable about all this, but I got it. Let's ro- we're rolling with you, Jason One. Let's go. And I love <clears throat> and immediately. I was like, I love this show. Thank and, you. And and the other thing so was, you know, she, she was um she was smart enough and also emotional, emotionally yeah. fit enough to understand that. Excuse me. Okay, this is a person mm-hmm. that looks like my husband. He's telling me that my husband, yeah. who I've been like sleeping with, doing everything with, exactly. he's not. Real. He's from a totally different universe. She was yeah. like, you know what? I knew something was off about him. I actually believe you. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. No, because throughout the series, she's she's picking up stuff and she knows something's off. And she told her friend that something's mm-hmm. off, whatever. But like what, what I'm saying is that usually in shows like this, the wife, she had a hard time accepting it, whatever. Instantly, this wife was like, Oh no, I know what's going on here. Right. I get it. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's save our kid. Let's go. Yeah, I love. I love that. I hate. I can't stand when there's shows and the people don't have such awareness. Because like, there's a a massacre of Jasons going on outside, and she's like, "Oh, let's go. Let's let's get out of here. Like, let's, let's do this." Right. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah. I can't stand people that they, they can't understand what's going on around them. They're exactly. Still like, I don't you know. know. Let's argue about this. Like, no, no, we got time for that. Let's go. Yeah. I appreciate. Uh... I appreciate so much. <laughs> It's just like, um, you know, the other thing is, um, you know, when you go through, when you go into the box, you have to take Mm -hmm. this medicine, right? You have to shoot this medicine in your arm. All of the Jasons are, they ran out of that medicine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're stuck there. They're stuck in this guy. And Jason too, his, um, his not real, uh, real wife took the other Mm -hmm. medicine, right? So I think yeah. like, so, you know, when I'm watching this and I'm seeing it and I'm like, wow, okay, this is season one. Season mm-hmm. two may be crazy. I mean, what are they going to do? Create a fraternity, um, you know, a boys club or yeah, something like, like that? I mean, you know what? Yeah, like, uh, get together and be like, we're going to take this guy's wife. Like, that's, <clears> a good, that's a good question. Yeah. Because, you know, like 
she's in other universes and the other Jasons don't want to be there. They want to be in this one, this particular one. Right. And there's a bunch of questions about why mm-hmm. and why is this one the right one? Right. Cause you know, we, we've seen him go to all these other universes and see her there. And it's like, nah, that's not her. Can't do this. Cause he could have stayed in all these other places, but he's like, Nope, that's not it. Yeah. because it, it, Right. Exactly. So, but let me ask you this here because this is, this is a little like, I'm not going to say confusing, but, Mm-hmm. Okay, all of these other Jasons, right? There's only mm-hmm. one Jason in the universe that Jason was in, and it's him, right? It's him and his wife and his son. That's it, mm-hmm. right? All these other Jasons that came through, they want to be, they want to stay in Jason's universe, but that's not their yeah, universe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, so why are they saying I want to stay here? You know, it's just like. Like well, this woman question. doesn't, yeah, I'm, you know, so I'm just like, it's very interesting. The other really super duper interesting thing about this, first of all, let's not forget this scientist mm-hmm. created a metaverse. Like, mm-hmm. listen to that in a, from a yeah. box, right? You know, parallel yeah. universes, the whole nine, right? He built mm-hmm. a metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg, this guy built <laughs> a metaverse. <laughs> Yeah. And it's in yeah, a box. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Here's the other super yeah. duper interesting thing. Mm-hmm. It's infinite, right? Um, yeah. So when you go through these doors, based on what you're thinking, that's the world you're going to go in. Mm-hmm. What Jason, what Jason too did when he created this device, he said, you know what? <coughs> We're going to make it simple. The, the GPS location will always be Chicago, regardless of what you, regardless of the door yeah, you yeah. go through. You will, oh, it yeah, could be like apocalyptic Chicago. It could be sunny Chicago. Mm-hmm. It could be like snowy Chicago, whatever. You're mm-hmm. always going through one of those doors and it's going to be some version of Chicago. Now, when Amanda went through the door and she finally mm-hmm. found a universe that she liked with that that kind of futuristic universe where she was like, mm-hmm. oh, the Amanda here is like actually very popular. She has like great credit, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, right? And mm-hmm. do you think that, um, what's her boy's name? Um, Jason's friend, the guy, the, I guess the yeah, pharmacist. Yeah. Uh, you, I forgot his name too. Damn it, man. His name is Ryan. 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 His name is Ryan. Right, right, right. Ryan found Amanda. Those are the same. Those oh, oh, two are. Yeah. Oh, right. So, okay. So that's true. So he's in the same universe as uh, Amanda. Yeah, that's where they do it. Right. Yeah. Because he came and he said, I don't know you. He said, I don't know you, but we need to know or something like that. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. He said, yeah, I don't he know said, you. I don't know you, but I've been looking for you. But I've been looking like for that. you. Exactly. That's exactly what he said. And, and she was like. I mean, they already know. Both of them know. They they went through this box. So, you know, they like that language is yeah, already they, they there. Know, you yeah, know? They, they, yeah, they're in, yeah. <clears throat> very amazing, very intriguing um, TV series. And you know what? I was um, watching a little clip on uh, CNBC. It's a business channel. And they were talking about, um, mm. you know, Apple TV, right? And they were saying, like, Apple TV's market cap right now is larger mm-hmm. than Paramount. Apple That's TV's crazy. customer service has been number one for the last three years. It's just been steadily mm-hmm. going up. Apple TV, and we've said this before, and, and you know, mm-hmm. I think that some of the best programs that are shot, that are created, it, they come mm-hmm. from Apple. You know, I mean, they're shot well. The, the acting is great. The writing is awesome. I mean... Is it yeah, quality is high. Yeah, I'll, quality, I'll give it for Apple. There's stuff Apple, I don't like on Apple, but quality is high. Yeah. Do you think Apple is like saying we want it this way? You think they're saying that, or because it just it, there's some consistency so. across the board with Apple. It's just like you come to Apple, you got to yeah. like create quality stuff, right? Well, I mean, like Netflix has the blueprint of you got to use a certain camera. It's got to be the certain frame rate. It's got to look like this, right? And which is the right that was a smart thing to do. Now, if they had taken that the next step further and been like, this needs to be a certain level of quality, because Disney has no quality. None. The Disney Plus shows are awful, and they 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 look like crap, and they're they're awful. And so that I think Apple does have a quality level they're expecting, especially from Hollywood, because the qual the the reviews are seem to be pretty high for things that come out of Apple TV. Yeah. And so far, 
some of the stuff I liked. I I did like um all the, all the shows we watched so far have been Foundation, pretty good. You know, um, yeah, there's Monarch there's some trash really great. movies on there like that. Yeah, Ghost that Tom Hanks movie we saw like the Apocalypse that was trash. Yeah, but, like, but you know what? A couple of things are okay. But that first Tom Hanks movie, uh, Greyhound, that was sick. Yeah, so we'll see. Like, let's we'll, we'll mm. say quality wise. Even if you don't like it, you could just say, like, well, this is awesome. still pretty good. Yeah. Quality's pretty high. Because Ghost so, is suck, but it looked great. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there's, they're good. They have good actors. They have quality top, top actors from Hollywood. They're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> they're trying to be select with the directors they're using and the level of quality they expect out of the shows. And I like that. And so I, I hope Apple TV gets bigger because of that. Because, you know, as far as the shows that I watch from them, they've, they've been hitting out the park. Now there's some trash that I'm like I'm not gonna watch or whatever, and I'm just, I don't care about. It. But it's not because it's not for me. It's not that it's trash itself. Yeah, it's, it's just, just not for me. It's kid stuff, which is fine. Like that, like sugar yeah, and stuff it, like that. You know, it's just like, am I gonna watch that? You know, like Acapulco, all that stuff. I'm just like, yeah, yeah I'm no, not, I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna watch <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ted Lasso either because you know that's not my sort of thing. You I know I saying? did like Ted Lasso. That's a great you know, show. <laughs> my my wife that. watched really it and show. I did see some of it, and I'm like, it shot pretty well. You know, um, but you know what? It's a um, it yeah, they it's gotten awards the whole nine. But you know what the um. The, the other thing about dark matter is, so Lathan, right? The, the, the mm-hmm. black guy, right? Um, first of all, he yeah. has money. How did he get money? I would like to know. How did he get money? His How did he become grandfather? Rich? I think his grandfather is the one that does do super Oh, wealthy. right, right, right. His money. grandfather, yes, he used to do uh he he was he was uh he used to do planes and then he started working for the defense department. You know, he got a contract yeah, yeah. with the defense he's, department. It's for his mm-hmm. grandfather's money. So basically. Lathan, right? Because he's super smart, right? And he gave, oh boy, gave him all these, you know, all the medicine. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, one, you know, one, each one costs a million dollars. It looks like that Lathan is going through, through these like different universes and knowing exactly where he wants to go. He looks like he's Yo, having well, he a great time. He trained him correctly. Yeah. He, well, he trained him correctly. Jason, too, knows how to go mm-hmm. around in this place to, yes. to your advantage. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is bumbling through this thing. Right. Jason Two knows exactly how to go through this thing and use it to your advantage, which yeah. is what he's been doing. Because he's the only one that can go to the place and then come back. Yeah. Because he's always everybody else is like, oh, we we barely got out of here alive, and he's the only one avoiding all these crap places and going to the exact place he wants to go to and coming back there eventually whenever he feels like it. Right. And he seems to be doing that a bunch of times throughout the series. So I mean that it, it's clear he's the he understands this thing better than anybody else, and it, it's a shame. I hope Jason one figures that out with his family because he barely he he he's running out of time now because he's got to go through. They went through the box already. I guess for season two they're gonna be yeah, through, well, going they, through. Well, they're on a they're on a they're on a different Chicago. You know what I'm saying? They're on a different Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but they, you know we get to see it. It just it looked colorful. So I pre- right. they're probably in the, the nice Chicago. Yeah. With the you know, man. Like, right. So here's the thing. No, no, no. He's with Danielle. Right. Um, but no, I'm um, saying he probably went to that, that Chicago where Amanda's oh, at. Right. It's oh. colorful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's exactly. possible. So, so check this out. So, mm-hmm. and I'm also thinking, right. I'm like, okay, when you talk about the box, right. First mm-hmm. of all, you, you take the medicine, you go through, uh, you go in a box and then you're in the hall, this corridor. It's infinite, mm-hmm. dude. It's it's scary, right? Everyone who was caught in the box said the same thing. Dude, I am so exhausted. I'm not going to go through the box today. I'm not going to go through yeah, the box it's tomorrow. Yeah, Because every time you so open the door, it's a disaster. Right, because they didn't know what they, to think. They didn't know what to think to go through. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason mm-hmm. is the only one that is clearing his mind. He's telling everybody, clear your mind. Mm-hmm. Hold on for a second. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thinking here, and we're gonna go through this door. Got it, guys. Done. Yeah. Everybody else was like, "Oh my god, we gotta go through this door. This water here. This thing right. here. This fire here." Like, not do. <laughs> I listen. I'm gonna tell you. I was just thinking. I was just like, you know, would I be able to clear my mind? Like, it's so much. Like, it's so much. I said no. No, because That's a hard no. I mean, as a creative person, everything is always just popping off all the time, mm-hmm. regardless. You know, even when I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, yeah. Could I actually clear my mind and say, I want to be I, here. I I want to be on the beaches of Punta Cana. I'll listen to music, maybe. Yeah. This is but, um, Dark Matter, man. This is this joint blew me away. Um, like you said, the first yeah. two episodes we reviewed, very interesting. It starts off slow. 
it's, it's, it's interesting, slow. but it's slow. Yeah, but it, I it, actually, it, um, I actually kind of started getting into it at the third episode, and then, like you said, mm-hmm. the fourth episode, I was all in. Fourth episode, yeah. all in, dude. You know. Yeah, it, once you under, because the thing is though, you don't understand what's happening, and you understand the the world that's going on, whatever. And so, like, I felt bad for Jason one who's going through all this crap, but like, I didn't really understand things. I start, I started looking at the how the box works, everything differently, and then I was like, I appreciated the show better. And you, it's the kind of thing you have to under, you need more, you know, you need more information. Yeah, and then you can appreciate the show. That's, mm-hmm. I think that's the factor there. You know, that's one of the things I really liked about this show. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Was I didn't know what was going on. And that was the mm-hmm. intriguing part for me like because now I'm looking forward to the next episode. It actually gave me the this show actually gave me the ability to think about how this stuff works. Again, when they said mm-hmm. superposition, you know, um, um multiverse parallel universes, you know, uh, mm-hmm. omniverse, all this sort of stuff, you know, ultraverse. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy, dude. Like, I'm thinking about it. Like, how can he, why isn't he, why is he always going to these different worlds? Why? I'm thinking about it myself. I'm like, how would I go about yeah, yeah. it? That's how great this show That's was. Tough. Yeah. That's tough. Like, I like that they figured out, okay, we write, write it down. We'll get a better, clearer Right. place to go to whatever like it, it's interesting I, like the whole concept is fascinating that it's based off your mind um that's interesting it reminded me a lot of the show uh it went from you know this parallel box or whatever and then it, it kind of moved over into the, the tv show sliders and that's i think that's kind of where the show ended up at the end and and i i'm not saying that as a knock i think that's a positive yeah i i like the concept of sliders and the idea of going between this di- different universes, whatever, or parallel universes, and and how everything's different and how you could affect it, whatever, based on what you're thinking about with your mind. Now it's gotta go three people now. They gotta think clearly, and he kind of <laughs> understands how to do the thing, but not really, not as good as Jason one or two does. I I wish that they could have talked to him more to get a better understanding about the, how the box works before they went in there, or maybe they have more. He gave them more information. Cause it, it kind of sucks. Cause he's you know, you're you're in triage here. Like you you're you're still battling all the trauma that you just went through before you go through the box now, and your realization of well, you can't go back to your your planet, your or your Earth, your Earth whatever it is, whatever the number is. You get you got you got to go somewhere else new and start over from scratch. Like so, I, I mean that's a lot of stuff to take <clears throat> in. Plus you're with your family now. Cause yeah. it's different if it's just you. I can pay hand like some money doing whatever. Like now, I got I got to get a house now. I got to I got I got raise a wife and kids. Like, right, you know where am I gonna work? You know, and that's the other thing. Like when you go into these, uh, if you stay in one of these other universes, it's like, what type mm-hmm. of work are you going to get? I mean, you know, that's the thing. I was thinking about money. Like, where's mm-hmm. he getting this money from? I'm like, like how are people he... DJing now? Like in the future? I mean, are we still <laughs> using like controllers? Is Tractor still around? Is Record Box still around? <laughs> You know, is there only one software? You know, I mean, I'm just like, mm-hmm. all this stuff is super intriguing, man. Um, again, mm-hmm. um, you know, Apple just really knows how to do it. I mean, could you take this show and put it on another platform done the same way? Probably not, you know? Yeah, I, I think that there's a there's a sensibility and style to it. Like, a- Apple shows are very filmic. They, they look like a movie. Right. Like, it's stylish or whatever. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. There's there's a bunch of stuff um, that I've been watching like Severance I think it's Severance or whatever yeah I Severance is wild it. dude yeah that's a, that's a wild show that yeah. is a wild show and it, it, so like it's filmed a certain way <laughs> and it, it's got this thing that it, the quality's high even if it's like the budget is low and you know the show is not filmed with hundreds of millions of dollars like you know Disney Plus is but it's still filmed high and it, it's the quality man. Mm-hmm. I, I'll give it to them. I wasn't in the Apple life until recently. I'm I'm a convert right now. I'm you new, are now an I'm Apple fanboy. <laughs> you know, what I got I'm Apple saying? everything right now. So Dude, I, I will say this: I'm I, bubbled I, up on I Apple. appreciate it a little bit more. I appreciate it a little more. I'm I bubbled up it, on I Apple. You know, <laughs> one of the cool things about this movie was it, it had like an industrial feel to it. It was real rugged. 
It was um yeah. Also, it it's was a, also it lived, really lived in. Yeah, it was also trippy too. It was like really trippy. You know what I'm saying? I was just mm-hmm. like, oh whoa, yeah. this is like weird right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then what about mm-hmm. um, what about I think her name is Dawn. That's the black woman who was the uh, they the are muscle. They're, the they're muscle. The yeah, she yeah, was yeah. no, she was the muscle. She was the one killing everyone. She was the ex military person. <laughs> she was just killing people. Oh, the, like, the police officer. Yeah. The who turned person. like bodyguards, yeah, yeah. you know, and I was the security officer for like, you know, the company that's creating the box. And I'm just like, and the other thing was, I started mm-hmm. to think, I was like, okay, with Jason too, he's a bit more like brutal. So I was just mm-hmm. like, yo, when he had to off someone, he would just take him to the box, put him in another universe, bye bye, like he did Ryan. Yeah, he's peace out, yo. <laughs> Like, yeah. Let me show you this thing. Here, take this drug. Exactly. You know, so yeah, man, this is uh again, man, I'm I'm totally blown away about this uh this series, man. We are talking about Dark Matter. This is an Apple TV original series. Keo, what are you gonna rate yeah. this? I, I give this a 9.5. Mm-hmm. I, it is <laughs> damn near a 10 for me. I really liked it a lot. And I think season two. It's gonna make me love the show even more, yeah. Because of you know, like the premise and everything set up really well, mm-hmm. and all the stuff that you could do with going to these other worlds and with the family now is completely different. And they all know, so they understand what's happening. So I, I'm excited. I like this show a lot. I hope they make more. I, I'm excited. You know, um, when we watched uh, the first season of Foundation, we were like, "Whoa, that blew us away." <clears throat> and then mm-hmm. you know how sometimes. The second season can be a dud on a lot of shows, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Foundation, uh, the second season came out totally. It was just like bad. It was great, right? Mm -hmm. I got a feeling that with the second season of Dark Matter, this is also going to be a great second season on Apple TV, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's Apple TV. I'm giving this show a 10 because it was just so mind-boggling. It was so trippy. Um, Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. The characters were, I mean, like the the character building and just the whole arc of the entire writing of this, like, you know, series. Man, mm-hmm. they someone put a foot in this joint, a couple feet, you know, big feet <laughs> in this joint. And I'm just like, wow, this is mm-hmm. like really intriguing. I mean, like, and I say this every time we have a, we do a pod, <laughs> and it's just like, okay, we're paying for Mm -hmm. netflix we're paying for apple tv and all these other streaming services okay Mm -hmm. give us some really good content i am paying for it and if you're gonna give us if we're gonna pay for your content give us Mm -hmm. an easy way of trying to find it as well right Unlike, you know, some other streaming Amazon. services. I'll Amazon. call it out. Amazon's thing is trash. Netflix is, trash. is a it's little a weird, too, because they don't like Amazon doesn't they don't promote their own content. They promote, hey, like sign that. up for this content and then we'll get a little percentage of that. Right. You know, um, mm-hmm. Netflix is Netflix. It's all it's just like Netflix, you know, so you really got to search hard. They don't do great with anime. Uh, they have a lot of anime, but they don't yeah. do great pushing it to you, you know? Netflix has good t- content in there. You just got to find it. And that's yeah, the problem. It's too you, much stuff. And yeah, it's, it's too it's much a stuff. Pile of, it's a pile mm-hmm. of rubbish with some gems in there. Yeah. That's basically Netflix. Apple TV, I find, I find out about all the new series and movies that are Apple mm-hmm. TV originals by Apple TV. Mm-hmm. I go to Apple TV. The slideshow is like, these are our new shows and movies nothing mm-hmm. else right you gotta love that right so yeah i'm giving this a 10 man this was just a great series um it was as great as foundation it was as great as silo anything i again everything yeah. i've seen on apple tv with the exception of ghost it's still a great movie <laughs> uh, it's just it just sucked you know um, it, it's not. It's, it's not for us. I'll yeah, like it's, that. it's it, not for us. I'm, I'm not, not into rom coms like that, you know. But yeah, this this yeah. was just great, you know. Like people, this is available on Apple TV. Go check it out, you know. Mm-hmm. Right now, like if you're in America, we're we are basically in a heat wave all across America. <clears throat> Stay inside. Get you some lemonade. Watch this joint. It's really yeah. Good. Go watch it. It's, it's worth it. It's really 100%. good. Well, there you have it. Thanks for checking out another episode of the Behind the Groove podcast. I am Basil Barrington.
I am DJ Keel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. All right.